I live in a town where I literally don't know anyone. I just have Logan to help me film sometimes. Hi. <laughs> Surviving on a penny for one week starts right now. Rule number one. Yeah, no, I think I've seen enough. Dude, if you're not even gonna do it for real, why even bother doing it? I mean, with a penny, you could not afford a shirt and a backpack. Like, come on, be realistic. You couldn't even afford a shoelace in this economy. Dislike. Unsubscribe. Yes. And... This is so dumb. I would rather watch Jake Paul flex on a toddler for 10 hours straight than you screaming at the camera. P.S. Please cut your ramen noodle like hair. Exclamation point. Okay guys, I think I got him. What's crack a everybody? It's your boy Thundros, and I hope your day is going Gucci, cause you know mine always is. And today I got you some, uh, Ryan Trihon, cause, you know, uh, w whatever, I probably just mispronounced his name, but dude, come on, if you're gonna do it for real, do it for real. I'm just saying, this kid could be running around in his birthday suit doing this, uh, give the female gaze something to look at. I guarantee that would bring in some views, uh, I mean, not from me, but dude, it, it would be just extreme enough for YouTube. Plus, he's big enough that I doubt Susan would actually enforce any rules on him. Ryan, buddy, if you actually see this video, Video, I hope you'll really think about it. It's a pro strat from, uh, you know, someone that obviously knows what they're doing on YouTube. Enough delay though, let's get to making fun of this video. Excuse me guys, does anyone here want to sell me a pen for this penny? Can I, no, please? Uh, you have to dig no, it. No, I'm okay. You have no. to dig it. It's okay, a, it's, sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, solid marketing. I mean, you turn that penny into something that's at least worth 25 cents, so you, you've already 25 times your profit. But bro, I can walk into a bank and get 10 of those for free. Maybe I should be an entrepreneur. I mean, I'd already have a $2.50 net gain with my method. I'm already doing 10 times better than him. And bonus, I, I didn't even have to spend a penny. Look at me over here playing 4D chess. I bought this pen from someone for a penny. I'm trying to like sell for a dollar. Oh yes, dude, you're the best. Thank you so much. You just started a revolution. I feel like it's kind of cheating to tell people about the challenge. Like, bro, you need to finesse these people. Make that pen seem like the key to Shangri-La. Make them feel like they just got some value, like premium access to Amber Heard's impending OnlyFans. Actually, that probably wouldn't be that great. It's it's probably just her dookie in the bed. And single dollar. Dollar, dollar eight. Oh, shoot. If you don't have it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Have a good one. Hold up, what is this tomfoolery, these uh, shenanigans? I thought all purchases had to be made by the profit of the penny. I don't want to sound nitpicky here, but by letting the cashier cover the tax, that is eight cents of non-penny profit being used towards the purchase. Foul on the court, homie. The rules have been broken. We, we gotta restart. Why are Dollar General employees so nice? That's two for two. He just eradicated my tax. He's not the government. <laughs> That's crazy. I better take these back downtown and start selling the heck out of these things. Okay, but what if we find out this video got that employee fired? Like, look, buddy, uh, I know you were trying to be nice, but you gave eight cents away uh, in tax, and that's just unacceptable, so get out. I mean, rumor has it that Dollar General isn't the nicest to its employees, and we've all seen people get fired for much less. Dude really may have lost his living over eight cents. I have a lot of confidence that we can sell these. I really do. Logan! There he is. Logan! Okay, you ready to sell some mints? Sure. Are you ready? Because I'm just holding the camera, you're selling the mints. Okay, for a second there, I thought we were gonna have another foul. I mean, I know it wasn't put exactly in the rules, but having Logan help him sell the mints would have been like, I don't know, some form of cheating. Like, man, you gotta do this on your own. You gotta be a, a self-made man. I mean, you don't really, but uh, dance for our amusement, damn it. You know, if he did start dancing, it might actually help him sell some. Once again, I'm out here handing out all the free pro strats. Yes. So we're thinking 25 cents per mint. I think so. We'll sell some mints. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm selling mints for 25 cents each. I don't have any. It's okay. No, thank you. no worries. Hey y'all, I'm selling peppermints. Yeah, come buy one of these mints that's clearly in the Dollar General packaging. Dude, you at least have to give them some kind of deal, like, hey, three of these mints for 25 cents. I'd say try offering a little something something uh, extra that rhymes with prostitution, but that would be profit not made from the penny. And I know you've already broken one major rule, but I want to try to keep the rest of this video clean. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I'm selling peppermints for 25 cents. Okay, well I'm gonna go get a dollar. 
Thank you so much. I'm not saying it's faked, but something about that interaction felt really inorganic. Ask yourselves, if a rando was sitting on the bench talking to themselves with a bag of mints, are you really gonna go up and ask him, hey, what are you doing? This is feeling about as real as Darman. If you want some mints, let me know. <laughs> I'll buy you a dollar's worth. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Buddy, I think you found your target market. Like, are you gonna exclusively sell to old people? You see someone with gray hair and be like, that person will probably buy a peppermint. I know it's not a solid marketing tactic, but I'm going off his first two sales. I bet you could find yourself one real sweet old lady to buy all of them. Wait, could this be considered scamming the elderly? Should should I call the police? I, I feel like I should call the police. Hey, I'm selling peppermints for 25 cents. Oh my gosh, yes, thank you so much. You're so sweet, I appreciate you. Awesome, that's four peppermints. Really? There you go. All of his clients so far have been old people. Besides this one who says he reminds her of her grandson, why are these people giving him money? It's not like Ryan is trying to get to Cub Scout camp, they just bought candy off of him. And this is the generation that was telling us not to take candy from strangers. What the hell is going on? As usual, the rules are only applying to us young people. So now he's back at Dollar General to get a bowl of sign and to restock his supplies and I just feel like I'm watching an advertisement. Like how much do you think they paid to have this store featured in the video? Like you don't have to show us you buying this stuff, you just say hey I'm gonna go buy this stuff and then show you with the stuff. You can give us a money update when we're watching you sell, I mean it's not like we're gonna not believe any random number you throw at us as long as you don't go up by 20 bucks. Honestly I would think it's much more important for us to watch each individual sale. I just want to watch each awkward interaction. You know it just occurred to me, I'm pretty sure those bags are marked not for individual resale. That means he's committing an actual crime and, and filming it. Dollar General Hall. So here's what we got for $5.95. Yeah, I think this is just a giant Dollar General advertisement disguised as content. You know, South Park made an entire season on this bullshit and we're still falling for it. We need to do better, people. This video has like 22 million views. One dollar for four candies right now. Oh, no, okay, that's all right. One dollar for candies? Anyone? Hey guys, I'm selling four candies for a dollar. This just seems really creepy, and I'm surprised he's not getting arrested for solicitation and, uh, you know, his other crime. Bro, you should just stand at a light and shout at cars or something like, Hey, you! You you want some candy? I wouldn't say that exact thing, especially if there are children in the car. Cops will be called on you, but I think it'd work better than your current method. Right now, I think you're just making people feel uncomfortable. They're like, why is this shaved hobo trying to sell me four Jolly Ranchers? Doesn't that just sound sus? I got 20 Thank you. You have 20? I have change. Bro, please do not take $20 from a child. I know $20 for 80 Jolly Ranchers sounds like a good deal, but I'm pretty sure you can get a bag for like $6.50. Like this feels like scamming a child. Dude, let's go. All right, I'll take the change. Just for free? Sure. No way, sir. All right, keep the money. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Hey, take the change, take the change. Okay. You're giving me this 20? Yeah. Dude, you freaking rock. Let's go. He still took $15 from a child. It still feels kind of like a scam. Like you could give this kid like more time in your video. Like be like, this is my bro here, you know, give him a shout out. Like dude probably just gave you your entire profit margin for this endeavor. Like you get to play on easy mode cause this kid doesn't understand inflation. And you know how a pro gamer like Ryan's gonna spin it. Oh, I just found an exploit in the system. But I think I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. I, I can't believe I just watched a child be exploited for money. And by the way, YouTube put this on my trending page. They're pushing this content. Maybe I should start financially scamming people. The key to YouTube is to just be a monster like Jake Paul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though and if you did like and subscribe to the channel because you know it does help me out a ton. Otherwise try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe and until next time this is Thundros signing off.